one. And as mentioned, uh, this is going to be a fast farming Bane starting off with his orange. And uh, it's a counter mirror approach for Bren here. It's already a very interesting start to the game. I mean, looking at the drafts again, this is not the normal Bren that we usually see. And uh, this is because of just the bans targeted towards Kyle Teasy in the first phase for Bleed. They really did not want Bren to get the assassins early on to go for it. So now we're already seeing a little bit of an engage early on as well. Bren they need to stay out of this laning because both lanes, uh, in mid and gold, they're really going to struggle. Yep, that, that's the story of uh, the draft so far. Uh, Brandy Sports want to protect uh, Super Marco, and they can pick fights, not just quite yet. And uh, it was mentioned on our desk, uh, our panels, that uh, they, they want to protect uh, Marco here. They want to go ahead and poke out, and I think the keyword is re-engage. Throughout the mid to the late, uh, if they want to get good fights, they have to make sure that Marco's set up. They want to make sure that Ogwin catches the right target and protects that back line. You have JPL, you have Sagitnu looking out for him. And I think that's something that we haven't mentioned much, the fact that these two imports are going to introduce a little bit more of aggression when it comes to Bleed's playstyle. We last saw them in MPLSG. Mm -hmm. I think the snowball is definitely what's going to help Bleed take control of the game because they really need to look for that snowball. Maybe not around the XP lane, but definitely around this gold lane. Uh, Super Marco, I was really confused. I think we had an off-camera discussion about why the Leslie was picked into a Melissa lane, but it seems like both teams are already setting up for the first turtle. Yep, no pull quite yet, and it uh, looks like Deck is setting it up. There's a knock-up on to Sagidnu. There's a jump by Flap. All right, split, split. Now that's going to be the flicker. Divine Judgment bringing him back. First blood for few. Deck trying to go for the retreat battle right now. CLVJ oh. jumps in with a stolen Brave Spider, but it is still going to be Kyle Teasy. As Flap picks up the kill, it is a three for zero trade technically with the turtle in hand. Yep, Brandy Sports are doing amazing work with the, again, re-engage mindset that has been set up. And the big win here is off camera. Super Marco was winning the lane too. Look at FMM right now. He's at half health and there's a big rotation just waiting. Oh, oh. few. Idol ng mga kids. I love it. Picking up the Novari here just throws back to his roots. Homie used to play a mean Selena. Back when Selena wasn't even a roamer, wasn't a mid laner, he was an assassin. And uh, this, this Astral Meteor, just perfect. For few. It really is perfect. It feels like the hero was built for these long-range mages, especially the ones who want to go and poke down, who have a lot of game knowledge to utilize the Astral Recall and everything. Technically, with JPL now jumping with the way the dragon, going to be able to lock people Whoa. down. The Divine Judgment by Kill VJ stealing it away, but Flap TZ, all the way from the XP lane, jumps forward with the Raven Spider. Kyle TZ picks up the kill, and it's Brent still winning on the board here in the trade. But I do have a big concern. Again, the Melissa in lane up against the Leslie. The fact that he is losing lane, getting shoved in and getting frozen, this is not gonna be good at all. As a Melissa player myself, when I'm up against a Navaria, it's already hell for me as a Melissa with low mobility. If you're losing lane as well, this Melissa, if you don't get those three items, power spike, it's over. Yep, and that changes the dynamic. Again, Brandy Sports found their window and they set up for what you would expect the Melissa to do well against the Leslie, especially since Super Marco hasn't really built up yet. His emblem spells out what he wants to do. He wants to be able to build damage items and eventually scale to the mid-game power spike. But here, Four minutes in, Brandy Sports are already barreling over about 2k gold lead. And I have a theory, right? Bleedy Sports, they picked up Sagitnu and Kiel VJ for what? The better part of two weeks now? And that's being generous. Uh, thinking that every day of the past 14 days have been productive scrims. It looks like they're of two minds. Sagitnu and Kiel want to be aggressive. The other three, they're kind of tempering their expectations here. Turtle take. Here, clean for Brandy Sports, they engage. Yeah, you say that the chemistry or the synergy from Bleed Esports is a bit off here in this game. Meanwhile, it's literally the complete polar opposite from Brandy. They know exactly what they want to do at every given moment of the game. You can see earlier as well, Kyle not really getting threatened at all in the turtle take. Sends Flap TZ over to the purple buff, forcing a retreat out from deck, and they're taking control of every single lane despite having losing matchups. That's right, and even taking that small camp and this all adds 
adds up. Uh, about a minute ago, we said 2K. Now, Brent, 2.5K ahead. I can only imagine what uh, is going on with uh, Super Marco. But wait, there's a pull. Flicker Divine Judgment deck might just fall here. Pops into Deadly Catch. Is able to disengage right now. Pleader trying to push the pace, but it's a bit too late as a 2.5K gold lead is already built up. That's a lockdown from Count TZ. And Few picks up the kill. Kill VJ's waiting in that bush. Looking for a little cheeky steal. Gets the Lethal Wanderer. But the fact that the Leslie is given this much space in lane is already disastrous for yep. Bleed. Berserker's Fury and a Legion Sword already on Super Marco. You can see that he is almost a thousand ahead of his lane mate. So yeah, FMM only has the Corrosion Scythe and you need to plant yourself for said Corrosion Scythe to make uh, much of a dent in what you're trying to do. And because of that, there was an off-cam turret clean for Brainy Sports. So yeah, I think what's going to happen next, Super Mark is going to rotate out unless they want to continue give FMM hell. And then even mid's going to get compromised here. Look at how low this tier 1 has become. I think initially the plan was maybe the lane swap, but the fact that the Leslie's already doing so well, we already mentioned this early on. As long as the Leslie survives in lane, gets to that Berserker's Fury, I mean, to be honest, get to that BOD. Once you have that BOD, you're pretty much fine. You can actually win trades against the Melissa pretty comfortably, and that's what he's able to do so far in the sixth minute of the game. Ogwen. Conceal already looking oh. for fine Judgment, but JPL cancels it out with a way to drag it. Now it's going to be FMM jumping forward with the Inspire still holding on to it. But there you go, Ooh. the Snipes coming down. JPL getting gunned down all the way from the mid lane as Brenny Sports push forward, going for the Siege. And with this composition, this was why they went for it. Oh, wow. That's two turrets, two turtles. One kill traded out for, yes, but so far this is as winning as it gets. Oh. So far here in the challenge season of SPS. Now Ogwin. There's a threat, there's a jump in by Flap, go away! Good go away, plays down by FMM, but you can't escape from the range! Flap TZ zones him perfectly. I thought Ogwen, he had the flicker, had the Divine Judgment, I expected him to flicker, but he knows exactly that, you know, it's a Melissa, no mobility. We can completely punish her just by Flap jumping with the Bravest Fighter in the back, forcing a go away, and it's just FMM so behind now against a late game hero in lane. Bleed are outgunned and outmanned. And there is a massive gold lead here, 5,000 affording Super Marco, that aforementioned Blade of Despair already in. Currently about 1,600 gold ahead of his lane mate, FMM. Not to mention, throughout that whole engage down bottom, Kyle DZ was going for the turtle off camera. So yeah, even with a 4v5 situation, Brenny Sports are able to go ahead and push the advantage. And look, did they force a purple steal? I think they did. Mm -hmm. Divine Judgment as well. Only on to Ogwen, but he saved this flicker for that. Now the Bravest Finder from Flap TZ trying to go for the re-engage right now. That's going to be Sagitno with the Slam Slam Pass Pass. Ooh. Snipes from downtown. Phew. Getting a good Astral Meteor. Super Marco just sieges down the Tier 2. And as a Melissa, as a lane bully, if you get your DHS later, then a Leslie gets her second or first BOD in, the, in, the, in his build. It's already just... Almost over. It's a losing once you get battle, outranged bro. again. Well, on a Melissa, once you get outranged, it's already it's already hell. Yeah. Right. On top of that, it's a BOD berserker in the eighth minute of the game. Yeah, you'll see here again. Uh, the uh, gold speaks for itself, right? Yikes. That's uh, Super Marco just having a time of his life. The past eight and a half minutes have been a breeze. Then that's an understatement because even JPL is wondering like, oh. Can I even consider this? And I think that's one thing that Bleed are also short on. It's hard for them to tell where Brenny Sports are. They are lacking vision. And not to mention, I've been keeping this for the past five minutes now, six minutes. The amazing cover damage coverage that Brenny Sports has. Bre a few alone, rocking just two items here with uh, the Enchanted Talisman and the COD. That's enough magic damage to force out uh, the uh, Cho to actually build up. An Athena shield. He only has a pair of pants to try and stop Flap, Marco, and Kyle Easy. Not to mention, Flap deals true damage on the Leslie. So this this allows the map to just be cracked wide open. A free Lord, and now Flap Easy jumps in. No one home. They Bleed nose. Oh, oh wait! Divine Judgment Sagitnu caught off guard, and yes, that true damage from Super Marco. 3 0 and 0. It's a killing spree for him, and conveniently enough, I'm also a Leslie player. So, honestly, looking at this dynamic, look at the synergy as another Astral Media connects from Few from downtown. Kill VJ not risking, not wanting to go for Divine oh. Judgment, and he stole from himself. That's a four man reveal from Few, as they're going to be able to shove Bleed back from the tier 2, picking it up for free. But again, back to my point, 
Leslie Novaria. Leslie alone. Sometimes you struggle against the uh, the the opening, the vision control. Most, most lanes, yeah. Exactly. And now you add on two few on the Novaria as well. It's basically an open map from level four onwards. Yeah, and not to mention Ogwin took care of Marco very well in the first five minutes, even putting himself on the line. Again, the only death for Brenny Sports in this ten minute bout. And with this ten minute bout, you're looking at a ten. K okay, gold lead, and there's a jump in! Divine Judgment, Flicker combo, JPL, gonna be picked off here, 0, 5, and 1. Not a good stat line for him, but Bleed, they're really looking for a desperate play. They oh. have to go for a big one. Flap easy with a conceal already now with the Bravest Fighter as well. Going for the anti CCS oh. kill, VJ isn't able to find anyone. That's the stun from Flap, and few snipes him from downtown. Mid lane, base turret taken down. Brand Esports looking to convert onto more objectives, and Bleed have nothing to to say about this, it's just going to be a free three base turret siege for Bren. It is a scalpel precision with the strength of a brute force blunt object. Brain Sports just barreled on through and they have broken the thousand gold per minute lead oh. bracket. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Look, 12k now and we're not even 12 minutes. So that means every single time Brain Sports makes a step, they're taking two steps forward, and that reflects in all of their items. Even Ogwin outclasses even the mid laner from Bleed. Is it safe to say that Bleed Esports are bleeding right now? Because it really oh, feels like they're taking a even. whole lot of damage, no? Not even. I wouldn't say. That, that, that's an understatement. Them mm. bleeding is maybe a 6k, 5k gold lead. Yeah. This is just... This is brutality, yeah. what's happening here. And Brenny Sports, they're not even sweating. I, I think so far, there have been very few moments in this 11, 12-minute game wherein Brenny Sports had to go, all right, let's back off. They've always gone for what they needed to get, and wow. every concealed play resulted in something. That concealed play resulted in all of the inhibitors going down. So Bleedy Sports, I guess they're only looking for one thing, really, a pickoff on the Marco. But no, with this concealed play! Uh, JPL is done for. That's a divine judgment to lock him down. And Bren Esports, they have just basically gone a pick right as the Lord spawns in. So, no, they're not. They don't want to just end it with a brutality. They want to convert it into a fatality with the Lord and with maybe perhaps a 13,000 gold lead by the time this game ends. It's another free Lord. And again, bleed. They're not, they can't do anything. They pop the conceal. There's always going to be an astral recall. There's always going to be a lot of vision. And even without the Novaria, the Leslie, you still have Ogwen just sitting on these bushes around enemy jungle. That's right. And Flap, not even Kyle. The tanky members are yeah. too tanky for anyone to burst down. Best case scenario. And again, this is the easiest of the uh, circumstances that Bleed can get, right? You pick off Ogwen maybe two or three times in a row. You catch him off guard. Sure, if you're lucky, you get one on few, shut him down, maybe even take down Super Marco. But that's, again, you mentioned the three bodyguards between Flap, Ogwin, and Kyle TZ. It's just not gonna happen. And now, with this Luminous Lord marching in, three men revealed with the Astral Echo. Lord's gonna crash in, and there's a jump! Flicker, Divine Judgment, once again from Ogwin, picking it off a deck. Now it's gonna be Sagitnu, Flicker's forward now, but Super Marco keeping the position. Meanwhile, the Lord, the Lord might just go for the end right now. Flap TZ jumps in with the Bravest Fighter, still able to sustain, but he finally falls as FMM finds some damage, but Super Marco is hungry for the damage, goes in for the kills in the end.